Hey guys, Logan, Jordan, Lake, Snow, Cold, and Barry. <laughs> so what are we looking at here? My brother and I built a bubble room. It's basically an, an underwater chamber of air that we can go check out and How hang out in. Yeah, 15 feet under the water. How do we get there from here? Uh, the only way, swim. Good thing I just happened to be wearing a wetsuit today. <laughs> and what would a mad scientist use to seal the leak in a bubble room? What else? Bubble gum. Gum worked out to plug the holes. Tape will work too, but tape you gotta keep dry on the way out. What holes? <laughs> <laughs> what holes? In the dome. It's the, oh. The Time to get in the pool. What do you think? This is absolutely nuts. We're standing at the bottom of Lake Tahoe. Yes, yeah. we are. <laughs> but it's fun, right? I mean, why would these guys build this thing at the bottom of a lake? Hey, why not? They came up with the idea, and they thought it was fun. There's the gum. <laughs> That's why they do everything fun. First, we attach the net to this big metal ring, and then we spread the plastic out underneath the net and fill it with air over there. We get fresh air in here from the diving tanks we brought down. This is, like, super cool, you guys. Have you guys invented anything, like, on land? Yeah. And so we go from the freezing water to the desert. Here we are. That's, this is uh, it. <laughs> this has Needham Brothers written all over it. This, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What is it? The degravenator, the, okay. the Leapatron. We try to name things based on how they look or how they act or function. It's the moon jumper, a telephone pole with a teeter-totter on top. So you guys designed this whole thing, constructed this whole thing. Yep. Just to goof around out collaboration. here. Collaboration. Collaboration. <laughs> it's all about the power of the brainstorm. It's a lot of fun trying to get our ideas from our brains out into everybody else's heads. This is sweet. So these guys have this thing figured out. A person on one end, a counterweight on the other end. First, we got to put proper amount of weight on it. Each of these bags weighs 40 pounds. I'm on. Now, don't let go. <laughs> you stand there, you weigh about 10 pounds because you have a counterweight. Wow. <laughs> He's a strong guy. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's Time to right. for the NBA, that's boys. All right, yeah. That's a telephone pole? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Were these antennas or something? No, we made those. Well, in fact, this is what they're made out of right here. <laughs> these are reinforcements on the inside of closet doors. You went dumpster diving and Heck you, yeah. you yep. made all the steel for this thing. There are two trusses these guys have cut and welded out of scrap metal to hold weight on both ends. The whole thing's 36 feet long. What's so amazing about this contraption is not the mechanics, but that the brothers actually thought it up. It's basically a teeter-totter on a merry-go-round that they jacked up on a telephone pole. <laughs>